Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. In this episode of our series, Three Answers to Every Question, I'd like to touch on a topic, a rather new topic, that's come around since the inclusion of Sheets into the Vectric software, version 11. In my previous episode, I referred to this, and the topic was, how can I move or copy a toolpath from one sheet to another? With that in mind, let's take a look at what I actually said in the previous episode. In version 11 of the software, the option of having sheets was introduced. A sheet is a new job within a job. I can have multiple sheets with multiple vectors or shapes or anything on them, and of course, different sizes. I create a toolpath using the same 60 degree quarter inch V-bit and calculate. Now I will say there is a way to copy toolpaths from one sheet to another, but that's for another video. Yep, I did say it publicly. So if that's the case, let's see if I can show you a few other ways that you can have toolpaths moved or copy to other sheets. The first way, the traditional way, would simply be to generate new toolpaths for each sheet. That was one way to do it. A second way would be to take your sheets, your first and second sheet, and when you have your toolpath generated on the first sheet, simply go over to the toolpath side and click on the icon that will make a template of those toolpaths. Save it to somewhere you can remember. And on your second sheet, when you double click on it to make it active, simply import that toolpath template. This option of the toolpath templates is not available for those using the desktop version of the software. Recalculate your toolpaths and everything should work. One of the things to remember is in recalculating, you need to have the vectors selected for it to take hold. And yet, with all of that, there's another way, another option you can choose. But before I show you the new option, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for future notifications. You never know when I may show up with another episode in the Three Answers to Every Question series. So, let's get into this last option. I've generated the toolpath for the first sheet. You can see it's simply just a V-carving toolpath like the previous ones. The first step in this process after creating your toolpaths is to scroll down to the section that says Vector Selector. Simply click on the button that says Selector and a new window will pop up. Here you have several options to choose from. Here we're going to choose Closed Vectors and we're going to have selected layers only, choosing the layer for text. We also must click on the option to associate with toolpath. That's one of the critical steps in this. We calculate the toolpath and we see nothing has happened. No toolpath has been generated, even though the software says all toolpaths have been generated. So why isn't it working? Is it because I don't have the vector selected? If I select the vectors, that doesn't work. So here's the answer.
if we go over to our Edit tab at the top left and click on the Options at the bottom, the Program Options window will pop up. We would scroll down to the Toolpath Settings section and find the line that says Select Sheet when Editing Toolpaths and simply change the value from Yes to No. We can hit OK and close that window. And while we're on sheet number two, without the vectors selected, or they can be selected, click on the Recalculate button. The software will say all toolpaths have been recalculated successfully. And hit OK. And there's our toolpath for sheet number two. We can preview the toolpath just to make sure it did take effect. And it did. So it was successful. Simply changing a few little things and associating the toolpath with a layer. Let's try this one more time just to make sure it really is going to work. I go back over to our Sheets tab and I'm going to create a new sheet, sheet number three. I'm going to change the dimensions of that sheet just so I don't get confused on which sheet I'm dealing with. And with sheet number three selected, I'm going to create some vectors, a circle vector. I know my toolpath that I want to experiment with is a V-carving toolpath, so I'm going to take my circle vector and offset it so I now have two circles that the V-bit will fit between. Once that's completed, I go over to the toolpath side. After selecting the circle vectors, we see that the circles are on the text layer, and I'm going to recalculate. Now, will the new toolpath appear? If I've done everything correctly, it should. Toolpaths have been recalculated successfully. And there's the V-carve toolpath on sheet number three doing no more than simply hitting the Recalculate button. We can preview this new toolpath on Sheet 3 just to make sure that it's correct. And it is. Now, just a word of warning. There is a slight oddity that happens with this that you should be aware of. We close our Preview toolpath I will go back over to our 2D view. In fact, I open both the 2D and the 3D view for convenience. And I double click on sheet number one. And you'll see there's no toolpath. I know I made it. Let's look at sheet number two. Again, no toolpath. I wonder what would happen if I recalculated the toolpaths for sheet number two. Click the recalculate button. The software says all toolpaths have been successfully kept recalculated. Let's take a look at sheet number three. The toolpath is gone. So the reality is I'm not copying the toolpath to the different sheets, but more so I'm moving the toolpath to the different sheets. Is it the best way to do something? I don't know. It's an alternative way to do something. You'll need to find what works for you. Remember the name of the series is Three Answers to Every Question. How do I get the toolpath from one sheet to another sheet? This is another way. There's no right, there's no wrong, whatever works for you. You'll never know what project you're working on where this may be more efficient or better, if you'd like, than the previous ways, but at least you know. So if you want this option to work, all you need to do is simply associate the toolpath with a layer and change the setting in the Options window for the line that says Select Sheet when Edit Toolpaths and change it to No. It really won't affect anything else unless you have multiple sheets and you hit the Recalculate button and your layers are associated with that toolpath. Let me show you a real-world example of how I use it. 
I found these vectors on a form someplace a long, long time ago for a shelf cut out of plywood. I take the vectors, I'm going to center it within my workpiece and move it over slightly to the left. These are the sides of the shelf. I'm going to take those set of vectors, which is simply a profile cut and a pocket toolpath, and I'm going to mirror it to the right so I have a left and a right side for my shelf. The other parts of the shelf are the top and the bottom, the shelves themselves, and a corner bracket. I need to make multiples of these. I need four of the corner brackets. I want seven shelves and two top and bottom. One top and one bottom. So I'm going to use the nesting tool, the option within the software. The process is simply, you choose your bit, the correct size. You, sh you choose the space between each piece, and of course the, s the dimension of the border you want around those pieces. I'm going to delete the original copy. I then choose how many I want to have of the first vector, which will be the top and the bottom. So I only need two. I hit apply. I then click on my shelf vector. Same settings, except I change the number to seven. Hit apply. And lastly, the corner bracket. For this project, I need four. And these vectors have been grouped together. And hit apply. I preview the nesting option by clicking on the corner bracket, holding my shift key and hold, clicking on the shelf vector. And with my shift key still held down, I click on the top and bottom of the shelf unit. And when I go to preview, you'll see that all of the sheets have been made. Now here's a fun fact. The sheet idea is not new to just version 11. In fact, the sheets have been around in the software since VCarve Pro 5, which was about 2008. So the nesting sheets have always been there, but now we have the opportunity to really take advantage of their powerfulness. Changing the size and the shape, the XY datum position, making it actually a new project within the software. Now I need to create some toolpaths. I need to make sure that my selection has been changed to no. I hit OK and close this window. I double click on sheet number one. I'm going to select the vectors for the profile cut for the ends, the left and right side of the shelf. I go over to our toolpath side. Simply click on the profile toolpath using the appropriate tool and the correct depth. I will scroll down, making sure our vector selector has been set to closed vectors, and we're going to select the layer of cutout. Associate the toolpath, and hit close. We can change the name of the toolpath and hit calculate. Let's show both windows, the 2D and the 3D view. I now select the vectors to create the pockets for the sides of the shelf unit. These pockets are simply there to help hold the shelf in place. With the vectors selected, I'm going to choose the pocket toolpath, set a shallow cut depth, the same tool as my profile cut, and hit calculate. So now I have a profile cut and a pocket cut. And we can preview both toolpaths to see the end results. And here you can see the small pocket that's going to hold up the end of the shelf itself. At this point, we want to save our toolpaths, both the pocket and profile. We've used the same tool for both, so we can combine both toolpaths into one file.
So that's our first set of toolpaths for sheet number one. We can click on sheet number two and with our vectors for that sheet selected or not, we can simply click on our recalculate button if we've done everything correctly associate the toolpath with the layer and changed our line in the options window. You will get an error message saying there are some issues simply because the vectors for the pocket are not visible or present in sheet number two. We can simply hit recalculate and the software does its job to generate the correct toolpath. We can save that toolpath so that we can run it on our machine. And we click on sheet number three. Simply hit recalculate. You get the same error or warning message. Say OK. And we can preview the toolpaths or the toolpath itself, since it's only a profile toolpath. We do the same thing with sheet number four. Recalculate. We accept the process of the software and preview. We can delete the excess material just for visual effects to see what the end result of these products are going to look like. And we have our four corner brackets and one of the other pieces. Now we go back to sheet number one and you'll see that what's left is the pocket toolpath. The profile toolpath has been moved to the other sheets. Well, if you need to cut sheet number one over again, simply click on the recalculate. The toolpaths have been recalculated successfully, and you'll see we now have a profile and a pocket toolpath as we originally created them for sheet number one. simply by making sure that the profile toolpath or whichever toolpath you want to move along to other sheets, you've set it up that it is associated to the layer. That's step number one. The other step is in the Edit tab under the Options window, the Toolpath Settings. It's a simple little twist on a pretty standard operation, moving toolpaths from one sheet to another. Is it the right way or the best way? Only you'll know that, but at least you have some options to play with because you never know what project you may be facing in the future. Choose what's best for you. Here's the example that I've created for some of the sheets that we use in our stained glass business. You can see I have different size shelves, so it's more of a custom fit shelving unit, simply made out of plywood. Sturdy, strong, efficient, and quick to make. I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure into moving or copying toolpaths to different sheets. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Enjoy.